nice to see you too. <laughs> you are happy. This is a really fabulous Christmas film just for everyone. Yeah, I mean, if you got nothing to do, if your Christmas like stinks and you're like, I need to get out of the house, man. Uh, you should come and see Night at the Museum. Like if you're a kid, adult, it doesn't, doesn't even matter. Like you will like this. I totally agree. The sun goes down, tablet starts to glow, and everything comes to life. If you were going to be woken up after thousands of years, what's the first thing you would do? Uh, probably have a good stretch. I mean, that's usually what I do after waking up after thousands of minutes. Uh, I would probably just want to take a walk and just see, uh, you know, what's happening in society. Can you imagine a thousand years from now? The incredible, uh, you know, although everything could be run by robots and things, who knows what will be happening. It would be a little bit terrifying. I'd probably <laughs> be very confused and be like, what is this? But oh my god, there's all these cool futuristic things, so let me try it. Um, maybe I would ask about a hamburger mm. and some chips. Uh, uh, I think that's, and hopefully those things still exist in a thousand years time. I pray. Yeah, otherwise I'd be like, put me back, put me back to the frozen mm. exhibit. Uh, yeah. I'd probably want to look up any, uh, ancestors, or they're not, they wouldn't be called ancestors, uh, you'd be their ancestor, but people related to you maybe, yeah. Be quite amazing. <laughs> I'm your great, 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 great grandfather. Howdy. Hi. Now what is your advice for anyone who may be being chased by a dinosaur? this festive season. Ah, oh, okay. If you happen to like be in a museum at night and things do come to life and you're being chased by a dinosaur. Um, one rule, which also apparently works for sharks as well, if you're ever being chased by a shark, just punch it in the face. Just get it right in the middle of the face. Yeah, and that should do the trick. It'll like just make the dinosaur go, whoa, okay. I should not mess with this person. Uh, run fast, drink green juice. Um, I think that, uh, yeah, can you imagine? That would be that would be terrifying. I heard they're making another uh, one of those, um, what are they called, Jurassic Parks. A Tyrannosaurus Rex, I, I'm more, you know, I'm better giving advice with Triceratops, really. Um, yeah, um, just punch them in the nose. Just, you just smack them down. Yeah, and they soon learn. Where the heck are we? Oh, Pompex. This is the last round up! We must never speak of what happened here today. Come on, that wasn't necessary! Now, um, you can only invite two of the cast to come on a deathly adventure with you. Oh. Who would you invite? Oh gosh, well, I'd probably have to say Ben Stiller, first of all. Just because I know him the best because uh, most of my stuff in the movie is with him. Um, and he's a smart guy. Like, he'll be able to like think through stuff and I think he'll be very helpful and also fun. Um, and then probably my second choice would be Dan Stevens to bring along. He plays Sir Lancelot in the movie and he's very good with a sword. So I'd be bringing him because he's, he's like the bodyguard um, for the adventure. Totally. Good, yeah. good choices. I would invite uh, Rebel Wilson and uh, Ricky Gervais, uh, just because I know that even though you described that it would be a deathly adventure, I think with those two, we'd be sure to laugh a lot. I totally agree. Hello, welcome to the British Museum. Hi. Must be wicked being a security guard in America with your gun, with a silencer, with your ninja swords. Now, there's a lot of improvisation in this film. There is. Um, who's the funnest person to improvise with? Oh, that's a difficult question. I mean, everybody, I mean, there are some world-class improvisational comedians in this, in this film. Um, you know, obviously, Ricky Gervais is, uh, you know, on the top of his game and uh, finds himself very funny, laughs a lot at his own jokes. But Ben, ben Stiller is, um, I think, you know, one of the best in the business, an incredible man to learn from and, you know, getting to to riff with him and play with him was uh, an extraordinary experience. Did yeah. you manage to keep a straight face? Not always, but that's part of the game really, it's just you know trying to make each other laugh and uh, you know sometimes Sean Levy, the director, would come up with something that he knew would make Ben laugh so he'd come over and say, 
you know, and, you'd go, and, and uh, you know, so we were kind of firing jokes at each other, you know, via people, and um, yeah, it's an incredibly playful set.